There you go. Hey, Jackie, good come morning. on in. Good morning. Thank you. Hey, we're doing a little LinkedIn video. Oh, Say all hi. All right. Good morning. <laughs> Hey, getting a little, getting started here a little bit. I actually, run a little bit late, but I wanted, to, I wanted to tell you about a little situation that I had and what I learned from it yesterday. Um, mistakes are made all the time. The question is, and and most people know who's responsible. You got org charts everywhere. You even go into situations that maybe a service situation, and people are responsible, and they say, "I'm sorry," but are you accountable? Right? What are you going to do about it? Responsibility all over the place. You're LinkedIn, you're in all these different scenarios and people are giving each other advice and I'm doing that a little bit right now. And there's all this responsibility term out there. But are you accountable? In other words, when something runs awry, what are you going to do about it? What's your plan of action? Plenty of responsibility. Plenty of people saying, oh, that's my thing. But then, what next? What are you going to do and how are you accountable? I think about it as an owner of this company. Everything that's wrong at this company, I'm accountable for. I'm not only responsible for it, but I'm accountable for it. Here's what I mean. Person isn't a member of our team's not performing. Who trained them? Who hired them? Who gave them feedback? If we've got a client that's not collaborating with us very well, how did we, and I'm responsible and accountable for making sure they're absolutely clear in their role regarding our collaboration. See, everything that goes wrong, I'm accountable for it. I think it's a really, and I don't mean it to be burdensome, I think it's a healthy perspective. Because what it does is, it gives you extreme ownership over your projects. So, hey, I know you're responsible, but are you accountable? Something to think about today. Have a great one. Bye-bye.